Hello everyone, it's Trina here from There's a Card for That .ca, and today I am doing an unboxing for the Simon Says Stamp Limited Edition Valentine's Day card kit. So this is not the one that is um, the monthly subscription. This is the one that uh, you buy separately. I guess that would make sense, right? <clears throat> so I know it's right before Valentine's Day and I'm really glad that this one came on time. Um, it's super exciting for me. I haven't had or received a lot of the the subscription packages lately because they just haven't really been speaking to me, right? So we're just going to go through what is in here. Uh, so we have some Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. Um, I'm pretty excited to try this, actually. I mean, I generally use um, either the Nuvo or the Tombow. You can see they're both quite well loved. Um, so it's always nice to find a new liquid adhesive that uh, works, and we've seen it in a bunch of videos. And uh, yeah, so I'm super, super excited to try that out. Uh, what else we got here? Cherry. Looking forward to that. <clears throat> um, oh. The mini baby cards. Um, so there's a pack of white and a pack of craft, and then some itty bitty envelopes. And and like these are tiny. These are so cute. Like I thought that they were like closer to um, a four bar in the in the video um, that I had seen when Simon Says Stamp had posted it, um, just with their introduction and stuff like that. But uh, no, these are these are pretty pretty little so the envelopes are just under two and three quarters by three and three quarters so I think that this would be um, sorry a good a good thing to put on um, on the front of a card whether it's the white or the other one because um, then you could do like that and have the card sticking out or a little face on it or something I think that would be I mean, make it cute. These are super adorable. Um, so we have those. We have three little bubbly gems. I don't know if you can see that. I don't really want to take them out. Um, so it's cold here in Calgary. January is typically our coldest month of the year, and um, not so much this year. January was quite balmy. <laughs> And now it is a deep freeze and we have cold weather warnings and I just want to stay inside and craft all day. I know you understand what's happening. A uh, little cloth treat bag in red. Um, little hedgehog and a little sloth. And that's interesting because I was under the impression that this was actually quite large. And I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that. Because then I was thinking, like, you know, paper piecing, they all know it's not really my thing. But then I was like, oh, I could make a whole card that looks like a sloth. Probably not. Unless, ooh, good call, right? We do this. And do a little one. A little, a little baby sloth note card. Like, folded in half. Oh, that'd be so cute. Folded in half and then tucked into one of those fun envelopes. So we'll see. We'll see if I use these. Um, so I chose to get this one over the February card kit. Um, I was going to get the February card kit at first because we all know I love the I love the florals. Um, but I knew that both of them was not in the cards for me. It was just not going to happen. Um, but I chose to get this one because of my um, my love of sloths. Uh, six by six. Oh, six by six piece of glitter paper. So super cute. Uh, pattern paper. X's nose. Llamas. Super cute. My sister-in-law loves llamas. Like loves llamas the way I love sloths. So it's super great. Like we tag each other in these things on Facebook. Um, like, oh, look at these little llamas or these goats or this. And flowers. And I don't know if I'm even going to, uh, to use this piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I might just keep it. I do like that they are single-sided. Like, that's super nice so that I don't feel like I have to cut one up to use another one. Um, the little ones. And then these ones are um, kind of shimmery. I don't know if you can 
see that on there. <clears throat> Little note cards here. Back one. Oh, more shimmers. Who doesn't love a little shimmer, right? Like, who wouldn't? So, and then we can always use more of that. And then, little envelope. Not sure what that's for yet, but I'll think of something. We're crafters, we always do. So the two stamp sets, it's got the ginormous six by eight stamp set, uh, the sweetest by Simon Says Stamp, and yeah, not gonna lie, he's the reason. <laughs> he's the entire reason that I purchased this kit, because sauce. And I mean, the, the sentiments are pretty fantastic too, like happy Valentine's Day, I adore you sweetheart, my heart is yours, kiss me, I love you, you're my person, I like that, I use that one at work a lot today. We have a rotating set of family service counselors at my work to help with um, our families and uh, they're they're my person of the day so this is my person so um, yeah I'm sweet on you be mine want to snuggle hug me so any one of these can go with any one of these and like I said like just look at him hung up so there's probably uh, on you in here somewhere yeah there it is hung up on you and then him and I love him he's just so cute and the hedgehogs I love that there's like the two of them so you can do like this is from me as a woman to my husband or this is from my husband to me because you know that's how it's gonna go right like I'm gonna make my own card <laughs> actually that's not true because my husband is getting called away to Toronto for next week so I will be all alone on Valentine's Day. And then, of course, the cardstock. And this one did not come with the inspiration sheet, um, but I think this is the 80 pound white. That might be island blue. I'm pretty sure that's doll pink, gray, and red. But for me, like I've always considered Valentine's Day like a pink and a red kind of kind of thing, and I've never considered tossing like a green or a, a light blue in there. And that's what the kits are for, right? Like they tell you how amazing it is. And then finally, there is oh, there's a lot in there. There's 40 printed cardstock shapes, so it's like die cuts, but you don't actually have to do. Um, but I can see a fox and stuff. And let's see what's in here. Um, there's a bunch of sloths. So that'll be for me. <laughs> so bad, right? So bad because it's mine and uh, I don't want to share. <laughs> um, so I'm not gonna open those quite yet. Um, I'm sure you'll see them in cards and on videos and like the ones that I don't use, um, my daughter will take because that's kind of what she does. Uh, so that is the card kit. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today was, um, the new blending brushes from Picket Fence, which look so amazing. Um, when you have a collection of inks or um, blending brushes or something like that, it can be really hard to move into another another brand. Not because of brand loyalty, and or maybe because of brand loyalty, but because you think as just a regular crafter, can I afford this? Is this something I really need? Um, like, if I already have a Cricut, do I need a Silhouette? If I already have um, a Big Kick, do I need a Big Shot? That kind of thing. Um, because for me, personally, and for most of the crafters that I know personally, having multiples of an item that do the exact same thing is is not feasible. It's not feasible space-wise, it's not feasible time-wise, and it's certainly not feasible money-wise. Um, but I watched a lot of videos on these picket fence brushes, and let me tell you, they look beautiful. They look beautiful and amazing, so I was online and I wanted to get them. And I do not want to pay that price, because we've talked about this before. I'm super cheap. So, so super cheap. We know that I get um, my paper at Staples. We know I get my glue runners at the dollar store. I get my mounting tape at the dollar store. I get so many things at the dollar store. <laughs> and so I was at the dollar store and I found these. It is a Lori, Lori? Yeah, makeup brush. And it looks to me 
very much like the picket fence brushes. And I really liked the idea of being able to get one of these at the dollar store because this is $3, but it did go through the till at $2.50, so maybe I lucked out. Um, because in the 10 pack that I saw online of the picket fence brushes, there are a bunch of them in there that I will likely not use based on the size, like the really big ones or the really little ones. Um, I like this size because it's about the same size as a regular blending brush. And so I had picked two up, one for dark uh, cool colors and one for warm colors. And I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about this. And then I tried them. And then I went back to the dollar store. And so much like a makeup brush, um, I did not get one for every color, much like I have my blending foams for every color. Um, I got one for reds, one for oranges, things like that. And then you just, you do, you wipe it off. But I was blown away, absolutely blown away by the lack of streaks because this isn't special watercolor paper. This isn't Bristol Smooth. This isn't um, anything that takes blending really well. This is a piece of 110 pound cardstock that I use. So I just want to show you the difference here. This is with the Lori brush, which I can only assume works much like the picket fence brush. And this is going to be all over my hands um, with my blending foam. And you get these harsh lines with the blending foam, which if you're using a cardstock that is there for blending is work themselves out and you have to really work at it. But I was completely blown away by how incredibly smooth the lines are and soft. And I just use a cloth, um, just a dry old, one of those baby face cloths, because those of us who have kids, <laughs> we know that those are all kicking around and just blend it out and then go to the next color. And that is why I have decided to get one for reds, one for reds and pinks, like oranges and corals, that kind of thing. And you just, you just wipe it out and it just cleans up really, really nicely. They're super comfortable to hold. Um, and honestly, for the size I want, like there's not a whole lot of a difference there. Like I wouldn't use anything bigger than this because I only do cards. I don't do the giant scrapbook pages anymore. I used to, but not anymore. Um, so for that, um, I did want to just show you real quick. There will be a post about this card. Um, I had done this piece with the, um, the blue and I used tumbled glass and we've talked a lot about how my tumbled glass doesn't stay juicy and it just doesn't blend and it is no end of frustration for me with that tumbled glass. So I used the tumbled glass with this particular, well not this exact one because this one is now for red, um, but the same blending brush but for blue and I was amazed at the color that came up on here. Like there is a little bit of um, broken china in here as well, but it gets right in there. Like obviously it was masked, but right in there and these brushes are fantastic. I'm sure I will still have a use for these ones for bigger things or where I'm just like, I just need to get this color down because these ones are a lot more for layering. So if the picket fence brushes are something that you're looking at and that is something that you can afford or you don't have brushes yet, I would probably recommend them just based off of this one. Um, for me, it is not something that is in the budget because I like to have all the new stamps so I can buy all, make all the pretty things so that you guys keep coming back. Um, so that's just my two cents. You'll probably see these brushes moving forward in the future. And that is about it for today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, one other quick thing for those of you that are following me on Google Plus, you may have gotten your notifications that um, Google Plus is no longer going to be a thing. So if you hop on over to the blog and the link will be below, um, please consider subscribing either through the Facebook or through um, right here on the YouTube channel or on the blog itself because once Google Plus is gone, you will no longer be getting the notifications that new videos are up. So that is all. My link to my Facebook and my blog post will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!